Hey guys, it's Nick here. I'm um, sorry if I look like crap and I sound like crap, but I'm actually pretty freaking tired right now. Looks like I, I didn't end up going to gas works like I do usually every year, and there's a few reasons for that. One, and I know people are going to call me crazy for this, but it's a little paranoid in case like ISIS showed up or something. It was just me. Me and my dad were going to go and we just kind of thought, well, what if ISIS shows up or something or some terrorist or someone gets shot or something like that, you know. So that's one reason I didn't go. But that wasn't just the reason. There were a couple other things, too. Um, my dad, you know, had diabetes. I didn't want to make him walk a long way. Um, and also, it would have been really tough to find parking, if at all. I didn't, I didn't want to wait five hours for, like, just a ten-minute thing. Um, third reason, my phone would not have enough video storage for all the fireworks. Every year, I have, you know, I can only shoot less and less as a result. Um, and yeah, you can hear the fireworks going on behind me. So, you know, it's just better to watch them down there. So, anyways... Um, yeah, what else? Well, there was another reason now I can't remember it. Um, <laughs> so, I got a few CDs today, and I got a VHS, and I got a book. I guess I'll show you guys what I got. Um, so, first thing I got, I guess I've been getting into Red Hot Chili Peppers, because I seem to be getting more and more of their stuff. But, um, this, this is a CD I used to have, the single for Give It Away, and uh, of course, I didn't take care of my CDs back then, so crap, it hit the fan with that. I thought I got the tape for this, um, I'm not, not going to say the title, but you can read it, yeah, um, I, I thought I got the tape for this at Goodwill, and then I take it out of the cover, only to, or take it out of the sleeve, only to find out it's a different tape, so that kind of sucked. Um, this is the second copy of Oceans that I own, the single, and I actually own all the Curl Jam 10 singles, so that's awesome. One of the best albums ever made, too, but, um, the reason why I bought a, oh, that's pretty cool, um, the reason why I got this seat, or a second copy, is because when I was at Pike Place, they just gave me that one for free because it was so scratched up beyond repair. I think two or three of the songs out of the four worked, but, um, yeah. But I just thought three bucks, I can just get another copy. But it says uh, here, tracks two, three, and four recorded by B A R A Radio on June 8, 1992. So a couple of years before I was born, but um, still, same birthday. Um, then I got Heat Waves, Too Hot to Handle, another great album, which I think this is probably my second or third copy. And I also have it on vinyl, but it's one of the best albums ever. Um, and then I finally got a hold of an album I've been trying to get for a long time, and that is The Offspring Greatest Hits. Now, I have all these songs except Can't Repeat and Defy You, because um, those songs were never actually released. I guess Defy You was supposed to be on uh, Splinter, and then it didn't end up showing up. Unless, like me, on the Japanese copy, and there's an acoustic version, but I wanted the actual one, because I was going to transcribe the drums. I have the bass book for the Greatest Hits album, then I have the guitar book for the Greatest Hits album, but they never made a drum one, so I, I have to take on that task. But, um, hopefully the fireworks aren't too distracting. Uh, then I got the VHS called, um, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Funky Monks, which I think is the name of one of their songs, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I saw it on YouTube, it was a documentary, and this VHS has been at the CD store for a long time, so I thought I'd take it. Jeez. You know, I really shouldn't be playing Five Nights at Freddy's anymore, because, huh, I get jump scared by the simplest things now. Anyways, I got a book, too. I got The Chase, since I read The Heist, and I thought it was a great book. Um, so, uh, I was trying to look for the job, but I went to, like, two different bookstores, they didn't have it. So, uh... But I guess those fireworks are also signifying I'm pretty good at Mario, if you know, if you get the reference. Um, another thing, too, is I uh, I went to uh, Panda Express at the uh, Northgate Mall to eat, you know, for lunch, and they were closing, so I got the last of the orange chicken they had. And, I mean, just look how much they gave me. I mean, I ate some of it, so there's not as much as there was, but, I mean, there's a lot in there. They, they don't normally give you that much, but it's pretty good, and, uh, Look at the huge drink they gave me, too. Mm. Delish. 
Um, I ended up having also another reason I didn't go today too. I forgot is because I had to take my guitar to Guitar Center. It was having a few little issues, and they were working on it. And they said should be done tomorrow, so that's good. I'm looking forward to that. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh, one other thing. I might be able to do LPs or Let's Plays or something because I was having a problem with OBS, which is what people use to like do their game streams and everything. But um, where game capture mode on there is where like it'll capture a certain game. But the problem is when I would export a video, it would the audio would play, but the video would only play for like half a second and then it would freeze. So I went on their forums to find out what was wrong, and the only response I could get was, "Well, your computer's not powerful enough." So I tried the window mode where it records your entire desktop, and then I opened up the game I was trying to use, and then it worked. So I don't know if it's that necessarily. I don't know if it's because my settings are good. Although I did downgrade the settings before trying it, the window mode, like 360p is what they recommended on the site, so I just tried the best nearest thing I could. I don't know how to configure the definition on there, but I tried it, and that seemed to work. You know, I played the first night of Five Nights at Freddy's 3, and seemed to do me pretty good. I think once or twice it like skips or you know it kind of freezes for a minute but other than that it seemed to work okay to the point where I could actually use it. So yeah it sucks because Steam erased my game which I don't know why because yeah I, I installed 7 on a you know on a new hard drive but Steam is in the same other hard drive that I was using so but that's okay I mean I can that means I can work towards the good ending now. That is, if I'm man enough to play the game. That game scares the crap out of me. You know, I hate jump scares. You know, especially because I have health problems. You know, I don't want to have a heart attack and die. But um, uh, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try beating the game once and for all. So that's about it. Happy Fourth of July. If you still celebrate it, I personally no longer celebrate the holiday, and I'll get to that in another video when I can. But. For those of you who do, do celebrate it, happy 4th, hope it's a good one, and I'll see you guys later. I'm going to try, hopefully, getting to sleep, because I am tired, but, um, and I have an excuse, it's 10 o'clock at night, so, I'll see you guys later, and peace out.